Today's topic is Duochrome test. And as you know that the Duochrome test is about to verify the best vision sphere. And the principle of the best vision sphere is chromatic aberration. What is chromatic aberration? You know that the white light splits into its seven colors when it passes through a prism. And when this white light passes through our eye, the crystalline lens which is in our eye have different refractive index at different places, at different surface. So due to difference in the refractive index of the crystalline lens, when the white light passes through the lens, it splits into its components. So the colors which has the shorter wavelength will fall in front of the retina, like blue color which has approximately uh, 535 nanometers of wavelength, it will fall in front of the retina and the yellow color has the wavelength which is 622 approximately, this will fall on the sensitive layer of the retina. And the red color has the larger wavelength, the greater wavelength and it will fall behind the retina. The requirements of this test is a trial box, a universal trial frame, the visual acuity Snellen chart, we have to set the duochrome chart, So the best vision sphere of our patient is plus 2 spherical and now we will perform the duochrome test to verify our best vision sphere. Now the duochrome chart is 6 meter away from the patient and now to verify the best vision sphere we will ask the patient to look at the optotypes like the numbers and the rings. So throughout the duochrome test, you have to remember the one trick. So the trick is G, G and P, R, G and M. So G for green, G for good and P for plus power. So if green background is looking sharp, so it means green is good, then you have to increase the plus power. And the second trick is if the red background is looking sharp, red is good, G for good, then you have to increase the minus power. So throughout the duochrome test, you have to remember these two steps, these two tricks. Okay, can you see the letters and the numbers on the red and green background? Yes, I can see. That's good. Now tell me, the numbers and the letters on the green background are more clearer, darker and sharper or on the red background? Both equally clear. That's good. And now we will learn the reason that why in the emetropic eye, the optotypes are equally clearer, darker and sharper on the red and the green background. So the reason is, as the green color has the shorter wavelength and this focused in front of the retina, as you can see. And the red color has the greater wavelength and this is focused behind the retina and red color and the green color are equidistant away from the retina. So the dominant color is yellow color which is exactly on the sensitive layer of the retina. So both colors red and green are equidistant away from the retina. So they are equally clear in the emetropic eye. Now we will learn about the hyperopic eye. As the best vision sphere of our patient is plus 2. And now we will perform the duochrome test. Okay, tell me, can you see the screen which is red and green? Yes, I can see. Good. Now tell me, the numbers on the green background are more clearer, darker and sharper or on the red background? On the green background. That's good. So patient is preferring the optotypes on the green background. Now we will learn the reason. So our patient was hyperopic and the best vision sphere of that patient was plus 2. As you know that in the hyperopic eye the plus power is deficient and you know that the property of the plus power is converging the light rays and the converging power is less in the hyperopic eye. So all the light rays will diverge. So the green color 
will diverge near the retina the yellow color will travel away from the retina and the red color will go away and away from the retina so in this phenomena the green color is nearest to the retina so that's why the green color is dominant so in this scenario we will add plus power before the patient eye so after adding the plus 0.25 spherical before the patient's eye so all these light rays will converge the yellow light will converge on the retina the green color will con converge in front of the retina at their proper place and the red color will converge behind the retina at their appropriate place so our best vision sphere was plus 2 and we will add plus 0 0.25 and now our best vision sphere would be plus 2.25 and now the optotypes on the both backgrounds will equally clearer darker and sharper so the conclusion is if a hyperopic person is preferring optotypes on the green background we will add plus power now the best vision sphere before the patient's eye is plus 2 and now we will ask the patient that which optotypes are more clearer darker and sharper on the red background or on the green background suppose the patient is preferring the clearer darker and sharper optotypes on the red background and now we will learn the reason the reason is this best vision sphere which is plus 2 is over corrected because the property of the plus power is to converge the light rays so because this best vision sphere is over corrected so the converging power of this eye is increasing so this increases the convergence of these light rays so due to over convergence of the light rays due to excess use of the plus power the red color is nearest to the retina the green color is away from the retina and the yellow color is nearest to the crystalline lens or the cornea so the dominant color is red color so this is the reason that in hyperopic patient the red color is dominant so in this condition we have to reduce the convergence and for re reduction of the convergence we will reduce the plus power and we will reduce plus 0 0.25 from the best vision sphere and the resultant power would be plus 1.75 so after reducing the best vision sphere we will ask the patient that optotypes on the red and green backgrounds are equally clearer darker and sharper or not so if both the optotypes on both the background are equally clear then this would be our best vision sphere and now we will discuss if the best vision sphere is in minus and with minus best vision sphere which is minus 2 spherical we will ask the patient that the optotypes on the red background are more clearer darker and sharper or on the green background so if the patient prefer the red background then so the best vision sphere of the patient was minus 2 spherical as you can see here and the patient was preferring the clearer darker and sharper optotypes on the red background the reason is the minus power before the patient's eye is less so the property of the minus power is to diverge the light rays so here the divergence of the light rays is less so that's why all the light rays will converge now as you can see the red color is converged nearest to the retina the yellow color is converged nearest to the crystalline lens and the green light ray will converge nearest to the lens and the cornea so the dominant color is red because it is nearest to the retina so now as patient is preferring the clearer optotypes on the red background so we will increase 
the minus power so we will make it 2.25 dioptric sphere right so by increasing the minus power all these light rays will diverge and the yellow light will come on the retina the green color will come at its appropriate place and as the red color so now the patient would be so the patient would prefer the clearer darker and sharper optotypes on the both of the background and now if the same best vision sphere which is minus 2 spherical patient is preferring the green background then so the best vision sphere of the patient was minus 2 as you can see and the patient was preferring clearer darker and sharper optotypes on the green background because the green color is nearest to the retina the reason is actually we have overcorrected the minus power our best vision sphere is overcorrected due to overcorrection of the best vision sphere you know the property of the minus lens is it will diverge the light rays so green background is diverging nearest to the retina yellow light is diverging behind the retina and the red color is diverging away and away from the retina so due to over diverging the green color is nearest to the retina so that's why green background is over sharp or you can see the optotypes on the green background are more clearer darker and sharper so now we will reduce the minus power we will make it 1.75 and due to reduction in the best vision sphere the light rays will show some convergence and this yellow light will converge on the retina the green color will converge at its appropriate position and the red color will come to its appropriate position so in duochrome test our final conclusion is that we have to clear the optotypes in both the backgrounds now if you want to learn about the jackson cross cylinder which is our next step you can watch these videos